Hello everyone, I'm Moksh and today I want to introduce Figure Identity, a very powerful tool to help you build and generate complete design systems in minutes. So we have opened up a new file and now I can enter the company industry. Let's say I want it in healthcare and I want it for a web app, SaaS dashboard. I can just choose the style. Let's say I want to have um, pastel light colors and a bit playful tone. I can choose images that resonate with it. So let's say this or this and this. And we'll try to come up with some colors and typography that best suits this needs. So generate a version of the design system here and we've suggested some colors and typography that can go well with this sort of design style. Uh, we can very quickly just set up and get started. Uh, the complete style sheet for colors, for typography, for your spacing system, everything is set up. Before exporting, we show everything here in Figma itself. And now if you want to export, you can just create all tokens in Figma and instantly everything is set up. We also document it properly, so you can hand it over to your clients or you can use it internally. Um, to and share it with other product designers. So all of the variables here are set up as well as all of the colors, radius, stroke, spacing. In this example, let's get started with import from Figma. So now I have a configuration page of how I want to read the existing UI here. So I want to read, let's say, log layers, but I don't want to include vectors. So let's proceed and read the values out of this page. So I now have all the colors, the typography, and the effects, the numbers here right in the uh, file. Now I can choose to remove anything that I don't want to create a token out of. So let's say I don't want to create a token out of this zero radius. So I can first see where all the all it is uh, applied. And then let's say if I want to ignore this time, I can ignore this time. Now let's set up the tokens. So now the tokens are set up inside the plugin. Now I can choose to expand or delete any token I don't like. Let's say I don't want to create uh, a token out of this. So I can rename it or delete it. And I can also add another color. Let's say I want to add a purple shade. And I want to add, let's say, eight different shades and five basic levels. Now quickly I can create the color variables here. Um, and I would see here in the global tokens, all of the variables are created for that color. So we now head over to building components. So we have all the different kinds of components for mobile, uh, web dashboard, or even landing pages. So these are a collection of components and all of them are extremely editable and production grade. So let's say if I want to make uh, changes to any component and export it in Figma, so let's get started with button. Uh, I can choose to apply different kind of styles on this button. So right now, the colors and the styles, the typography, everything that this button has, we can change and customize it accordingly. The way that we have set up our existing styles and the tokens in the previous step, we can choose to change the primary color. Let's say I create this new purple shade. So I can set up the design language and now the button will take up this color. So if I again go to button, I will see the button has taken the previous colors and your styles. And now I can export this component in Figma. So these are production grade components, so I can choose to play around with it. Let's say I wanted an neutral shade. I want it a bit bigger. And uh, I can choose to do this, maybe just an icon button. You can choose to have this as well. 